everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how I made this beautiful sunset piece for week three of the August Abstract Boss competitions. Stay tuned. I got this awesome board from Ross for $12, and I'm gonna start off by taping off the um, inlay of crystal rocks in the middle. I don't want that to be covered with resin. I actually want that to stand out. So I'm just taping that off and making sure I give a little bit of overhang. And then I'm gonna tape off around the bottom edge all the way around because of course we all know that resin runs underneath. And then I'm going to cut that off. All right, I'm going to mix up all my colors. I will list my colors in the description below. And I chose a dark sunset. I really love the darker colors. Instead of just using a straight up orange, I did mix a little bit of my red in with the orange to give it a little bit more of that burnt orange look instead of a bright orange look. Now, instead of laying my colors in just a normal rainbow style, I sort of did like a super elongated S. And then as I went up, I added glitters. So first I did that burnt orange, then I did the red, and then I added in red glitter, which made it look a little bit darker, but of course adds in a little something extra because it's glitter. And then I see, did the same thing with the purple. So I mixed in, did just the solid purple, and then I mixed in the purple glitter, and that makes up the whole top part of the sunset. Now with sunsets, we know that colors blend together really nicely, so I didn't want to have just choppy lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this small popsicle stick, or you can do this with a toothpick if you don't have the mini popsicle sticks that I have here. You can take a toothpick and just sort of drag through the colors, and it kind of helps to blend the colors and to give it more of that streaky appearance instead of a chopped color block appearance. So you can see how things will just start to blend more and come together more and actually look like a sunset. Now we did try to keep up with the sides, but eventually I got tired and just went to bed. Um, mostly because we all know that resin does not stick well to vertical surfaces. And um, the next day it really did just all completely run off, except for the glitter. The glitter's pretty heavy, so it did actually cling to some of the wood. And I think it looks really cool. So I'll just show that at the end. Now that I am done with this whole part, all I did was utilize heat to take off the tape. It comes off very easily. I actually waited a full 24 hours. Um, that's mostly just because I completely forgot about this project sitting on the side and I was busy doing a countertop sample. And so that was my bad. Normally I would say do it after about 12 hours and depending on the resin, you'll still need heat. With KS resin, it's not likely that you would have needed the heat because the KS resin stays super pliable for really long. And that was actually one reason why I chose KS resin for this particular project. But of course, I am such a space case and completely forgot it. So I did it after 24 hours and luckily it still worked just fine. 
But if you are finding that it is very difficult to remove, just use an X-Acto knife to score. So cut along where you're wanting that tape to come up at, and that should help as well. So the heat gun and scoring should also help. So since I'm working on top of one of the plastic tablecloths, the resin pops right off of that. So now that it's done, I'm just going to use my scissors. Like I said, KS resin stays pliable for super long. So I didn't actually need heat like I did with a couple of other of my mosaic projects. So I was able to just cut these into triangles super easily. And this was the same time frame that I took the tape off. So at around 24 hours. Now that I'm done cutting as many triangles as I possibly could with all the colors, I tried to get as much of the red and orange in there, but really there wasn't a lot of runoff for that. So the majority of the bottom part was purple and I don't mind. I think it turned out absolutely fantastic, but I did not actually think I was going to be doing this mosaic piece until afterwards and I seen all the beautiful runoff. I just thought, oh my gosh, I have to do this. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, so that was kind of a very last minute change. I was going to do something completely different and um, that's just be flexible with your art and don't worry about it. Now I'm using the glitter ornament adhesive I've talked about in another one of my videos and I love it. It's just that same glue that you roll around on the inside of an ornament and then you put glitter in there and it just sticks to all of that. But it does take a really long time to dry and so I was just going to let it stay just to kind of glue my mosaic pieces down and let it stay there. But I got very impatient and so I decided to actually sprinkle my glitter on while this was still wet. And I do not recommend that because I didn't actually glue my mosaics down. What happened was it actually moved a couple of the pieces. Now it didn't move a lot of them and it still looks absolutely fantastic. But I like to have space in between all of my pieces and now a couple of them are touching and I don't like that. <laughs> uh, but it'll be fine. It still looks absolutely beautiful and you probably wouldn't have noticed until I actually said something. Um, but you will notice now once I'm pouring the glitter how it moves a couple of the pieces um, because it is very fluid. They're not glued down, uh, but they do glue very well over time once this fully dried. Here it is. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this week's assignment, Sunset. I personally absolutely love this. I decided not to add in any other type of requirements for this one because I really want to see what colors you choose, how you decide to do it. But next week is ocean and I am going to add in the rule of using shells in some way. So think about how you guys are going to make up your projects for next week but this week is going to be sunset and I can't wait to see what all of you create. And in the meantime, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I can't wait to hear about what you thought of this project in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone.